What's going on y'all, it's Chuck Nunface. Just wanted to take a couple minutes and talk about this knife right here. This is a Emerson Knives uh, Combat Systems Fighter. Uh, this is long since out of production. Um, you know, it was a limited edition, you know, with the uh, Emerson Combat Systems that they developed. I'm not really even 100% sure on the history around this one. Um, but I, I liked it. Uh, you know, it's got a couple of things that I really like about it. It's got the handle profile of the Roadhouse, which if you remember, if you follow me on Instagram or if you saw the, the video I did several months ago, it was back in August, we did the, the one month, one knife challenge August. And I carried the, the Roadhouse for that month. And, uh, I really liked the handle on it. The handle really kind of sold me on that, on that knife quite a bit. Um, it's it's a it's oddly it doesn't look it but it's oddly a neutral handle now it does have that that pronounced choil that finger weld right there and then it's got this dividing line right in the middle where it's going to split at least you know your your hand is going to be trained or it's going to be guided into that and a lot of people don't like that they like something that's really just kind of flat and totally neutral but you know to me it is somewhat neutral in the sense that it just divides the hand you know the knuckles that splits the fingers right there and it just guides your hand where to go. And I have, you know, medium sized hands and it works really well for me. Um, and so I really liked that. And it also had the blade style of the CQC8 Emerson Tiger, really more like the Tiger, which is kind of a spin off of the 8. Um, but it had that blade style too. Now, I had a Tiger, I've since sold it. And, you know, one of the reasons I sold is I really wasn't a huge fan of the handle. The, now, the Tiger had the same handle that the CQC-13 has, which is almost like a Persian-style handle, and it's got a real, really pronounced uh, hump on the butt right there that'll kind of come around. Now, it'll lock your hand in really well. I mean, that knife's not going anywhere, but I, I just found it really kind of bulky and a little bit annoying, so it's definitely not my favorite handle style. Um, and that's something that you kind of see with Emerson is they, they kind of model and they, they take some of their blade designs and they put them on handles that are very similar to other models' handles, if not the exact same. Um, I mean, they change things internally with the, with, the, with, the, um, with the liners and everything else. But, you know, that's something that you will notice across their line is, is they have that. So in any case, I ended up getting this, uh, my friend Doug, the Shutter Doug uh, on Instagram, he sent this over to me. Um, we did a trade. Cause I had been eyeing this for quite some time. I knew, you know, he had one and I was like, yeah, you know, I really kind of, I want to get that sometime. And he was like, you know, we kind of bantied around about it. And then, you know, a couple months back, he just said, basically, whenever, whenever you're ready, it's yours. You know, if you want to, if you want to pick it up, I'll sell it to you. And I was like, all right, cool, cool. Well, uh, a few weeks back, I had a few, bunch of knives up for sale. And one of them was in fact, that Emerson Roadhouse. And, uh, you know, because I'd asked him, I said, all right, well, let's see if I can get some things sold and I'll pick it up for you or from you. And, um, you know, he saw that I had that Emerson Roadhouse for, for trade or for sale. And he was like, well, just send me the Roadhouse, dude. And I was like, I mean, he knew he I was getting the better end of that deal. But I mean, we've dealt with each other so much in the past. You know, he's a friend and, you know, he he obviously knew what he was doing. I was in no way, you know, taking advantage of him. Um, you know, he was just getting kind of a standard roadhouse and I was getting, you know, a limited, limited edition, you know, combat systems fighter, which is, which is much more rare. You know, it's got the signature on there and everything else and that is actual signature, but it's etched in there. And then it says, you know, Emerson combat systems, you know, uh, it's a little blurry. I can't get the, the phone to focus in, in kind of selfie mode here, but there it is what, in any case. Um, and so, yeah, he knew what he was doing and he went ahead and made that, that trade with me. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. And he was kind enough to, to send it with the, um, with the, uh, the 45 cal thumb disc, that raised thumb disc. Now, some models, some Emerson models benefit from having either a larger thumb disc or in this case, the raised thumb disc. This, this style on this particular knife is perfect, um, as a replacement for the standard, just kind of small black thumb disc that they have. Um, I noticed that a lot when I had the Tiger. Uh, I had one of these on the Tiger as well when I had it, and it was it was the right one. Now, some models, like I say, they don't need it. You know, for instance, I've got this EX100. Now, I could put 
you know, a Gray's Precision, a Gray Precision disc on there. I mean, this is just a stock one, or I can put the, you know, the bullet disc or something like that. Whoops, I forgot how drop shitty this one is. Um, I can put that on there. But with this model, it's really not necessary. Um, and so, you know, I've just kind of kept it as is. But with this one, I mean, even if he hadn't sent it, I would have put one on there. Um, now, it did come to me... Uh, <laughs> I kind of think that Doug likes to send me projects um, and see and see what I'll do because we talk a lot on Instagram and everything else and and uh, you know whenever I have a double detent knife I, I end up taking it apart because it's not the way I want it to be and you know I, I can almost never get them recentered and this one was really no exception but however I did get it dialed in really nicely it had that it had that Emerson kind of wine that scraping nails on the chalkboard sound almost when I first got it and that I believe that's going to be the 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 second detent on the show side you know because they have the older models they have um they're double detent models so they've got the standard you know the liner detent of course um for the lock bar and then they've also got another one yeah no, you'll be able to see it but it's it's also in there it would be nice if this would focus but it's just not going to focus in this mode um, but in any case, I did a, I did a, a video on double detent models as well that you can go back and check out too and how to tune them. But I ended up tuning this one up and got the action where I wanted it. It's a little stiff. I've, I've kind of Loctited it, um, a little stiffer maybe than I could have, but I wanted to ensure that there was, there's no blade play whatsoever. And there, there isn't on this one right here. And, um, you know, I went ahead and I put the, uh, the ox guard on there cause it did have some lock stick as well after doing that. And um, yeah, I got it. I got it dialed in real nice, and there's absolutely no sound coming out of it either. So, other than just you know the sound it makes when it when it locks into place. So that's a good thing too. So in any case, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. But I just kind of wanted to show this one off real quick. The uh, the Combat Systems Fighter. It's not one you see every day. So for Emerson fans, it's kind of cool to to be able to check these out. So I'm real happy to have this one. You know, I thank Doug for for making that deal with me and. And doing that trade and uh yeah just uh, if you haven't done so already go ahead and click the click the button in the corner go ahead and subscribe might be in that corner probably in this corner though um you know leave me a comment in your experience with emerson you know uh, have you gotten any of the new ones oh you know what as an aside again sidebar i still get asked this question quite frequently um anything new you get directly from Emerson. So as, as you probably know, Emerson no longer sells to distributors or dealers or anything like that. They only go, you have to buy direct from Emerson on anything new production. Anything you buy directly from Emerson, Emerson anything that's, that's coming out from them now is always gonna be single detent. Um, they're not gonna, they've, they've completely moved away from double detent models. So even if it's an old model, so say it's a, it's a CQC7, for instance, um, or CQC 13 or something like that. If it was released, you bought it direct from Emerson, it's gonna be with their new construction style, regardless of how it was designed initially. So it may have been, if it's an older model, it may have been double detent, you know, back before 2014 and whenever they started making the switch, 15, whatever it was. Um, but if it, you bought it direct from Emerson, you get it from them, it's new production, unless you get it from the vault or something like that, it will be single detent modern construction that they're using now. So just something to kind of keep in mind. Go ahead and leave a comment if you don't mind. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I certainly appreciate it. Follow me on Instagram at Chuck underscore Nunface. And stay tuned for the next one. Peace.